Here's a little pendant. What are those men called on the horses? Minotaur? Yeah, Minotaur. Minotaur, like you see in Harry Potter. And I think this this was added to this pretty chain, this Rolo chain, because this Rolo chain is marked. Avon. Do I have it upside down? Probably. Oh. Y'all gonna have to trust me on that. That's Avon. But that's that. Here's a dream weaver with some stars and little stones in here. Done in metal. Nice metal, silver metal chain here with a spring ring clasp. <clears throat> Here's some beaded pieces right here. And that one's got a finishing bead on it. Sorry for the clock, folks. <laughs> yep. It's working. Now these are the pieces, I don't know if they're silver or not. First one we have is um, Mickey Mouse. It's got the Disney on the back. It's on this nice beaded chain here. It's not marked. But I don't believe it was magnetic either. Nope, nope. This chain was also silver in this jar. Now remember, this jar was half full of kids stuff. Quarter full. Quarter full, I'm sorry. Oh, keep correcting me, honey. I need you. <laughs> it's 925 on the lobster claw and the end caps here. A nice rope chain. Ah, wait a minute. It's not magnetic. Go ahead. Okay. This little bracelet, you can see copper coming through it everywhere, but it is not marked 925. I don't know. I don't know. Italy. All right, where are you? I'm gonna have to loop it to find it. <sighs> Let's see. Yes, this is the 925 stamp on this right here, and you're not gonna be able to read it. I don't think. It was hard for me to read it. There you go, 925. It's got charms on it. All the charms are marked. 925. There's a nurse, a registered nurse. A ring with the yellow stone and a cross and an M. And it is not magnetic, except for the jump ring, spring mechanism in there. But other than that, so that's going to be tested. I don't know why it's that color. If it tar why it's tarnishing that color. Here's a snake chain that was also marked sterling. Or Italy, 925, one or the other. Or no, 18K. It's got on there, I don't know. I'm not sure what this is. I'm thinking it's sterling. It's got that 18K on there, so I'm gonna have to test for both. It is, what is magnetic? That thing that says 18K is magnetic. How about that? <coughs> Anyway, we'll test this for sterling and 
18 karat. Here's another rope bracelet that was marked 925 Italy FAB and on this side was the 925 that you can barely read I don't know if I'm going to get it on there or not. I'm going to loop it again just in case. Yes, it's 925. And these two here are so, um, Mark 925 chains. So that was all the silver in this lot. So I wanted you guys to see that. That just because it that has a lot of weird stuff looking in it, it can still contain a lot of silver and some nice costume pieces. <clears throat> it's a very fine chain on this one. And on this particular one, the spring ring is broken. And it has 925 on it. So, there you go. I believe that was all except for maybe this necklace here. I put this necklace on the jar to keep it from going crazy on me. This is a cord. It's magnetically closed up top here. Like that. Very clean cords. They look brand new. It's a very pretty drape. I'm draping it on the jar here. And that was the last of it. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And um, we'll be back with another jewelry jar opening soon. We've gone to get the mail, and then after that, we will continue opening more jewelry jars. And I, I'm going to say bye for Daryl because he's going to get in the mail. And bye for me. See you next jewelry jar. Oh, and by the way, make sure you go check out the video. Well, I don't know. This one may already may not be up before the contest is up this Sunday. But anyway, we had a, a contest for uh, guessing the weight of a jewelry craft jewelry jar. And it ends Sunday the 15th at midnight. See y'all later. Okay, I'm back. We weren't finished. Hope you didn't turn it off. Here's some more. This is sterling. Right here. That needs to go in my sterling lot. No, I want to put it in there with the earring. Okay. This was cute. Made with the top of a can. Soda can with the initial L. Pretty little glittery earring, kind of heavy. This one was beautiful. This brass with this, um, you know, it kind of looks like underneath is a layer of leather. There's this one. This was a pretty one too. No matches. This was a pretty one with no match. Leave her back. We have this. Chandelier type. Looks like the gold and the black onyx. I'm sure it's not gold or black onyx. Another chandelier type. And silver tone, and this one's Mark LC. It is Claiborne. This is a pretty one in the gray and the silver leaves. Little flip flop. I don't 
don't know if that's marked or not. This pretty little one. Those, and finally this one. It's always good to run a magnet. There you go. Okay, goodbye for real. We'll be right back with a new video. <laughs> a new jar.